is. Hey, there he Yay. is. Come on in here. We are. We're on the I'm radio there. right here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hey. Come on in, everybody. Look at you. We're just talking about you. We were talking about first of all the camper tour. Yeah, did, man. Where you drive around. Let me get this straight, Steve Mokler. Mm-hmm. If you just listen right now, Steve Mokler's in. Uh, you drive around in a camper, and then you yep. pull out like a pallet, and you stand on it, and you put Christmas lights up around you. That's it. And you play for fans. That's it. There's but how two do, pallets, how do you get to be to fair, there? from oh, Kroger. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I need two. It's a big deal. Man, think of the overhead there. <laughs> so, but how do you pick where you're going across the country? So we put a word out online, and, and we just we just kind of say, hey, we're, we're going to be taking offers and submissions for the next few weeks, and then once we get them all in, they're all sitting there on a spreadsheet, and we just we route out um, where we want to go, and we take the best offers, and we also fill in between. So it's really an equal playing field for anybody. You get paid for that? Just a little bit, they, yeah. So they pay you to come to their house? Uh-huh. Will you do like a barbecue? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Here's what I've been thinking about, him. What? I've been thinking about having a, a Labor Day party at my house. Yeah. How much can I get Steve for? I oh, thought you, you can't hear me. Oh, you need to book him for the camper tour. Just make, make sure it's on his route. Like if he hasn't pulled out of Nashville <laughs> right. yet, I've get moved. the camper. I think we could swing it. I live. It's <laughs> on the way to everywhere. Yes, Look it is. This. I think that would be so fun, especially if we brought the pallets and the Christmas lights. Let me hear some of this. Here's Steve Mokler. Maybe you've heard Born Ready. Ready? <laughs> I'm a fan. Like I'm a Thanks, fan. Man. I'm, I'm genuinely a fan of, means a lot. of what you do. It ain't always it's called Hard Not to Love It. You like this one? I do. We didn't always get it right, get it right. Now and then we get it right, get it right. If it weren't for heartbreak, we wouldn't have a story now. But it's working out. You moved to town to write songs, huh? Yeah. Like that was the deal? Like you want to be a songwriter? I wanted to be a songwriter and I, and I wanted to perform. But really, I've always seen myself as a songwriter first. I started playing guitar when I was 14, and as I learned a chord on the guitar, I was writing a song that had that chord in it. I didn't really realize, look, till, you know, looking back on it, that was pretty unique. It's been a kind of awkward situation for me a bit here with this, because Amy is great friends with your wife. Mm-hmm. Would you say she's one of your best friends here? Yeah. She yeah. would say the same. Yeah, and yeah. so it's like, when do I bring Steve in? I don't want there to be this sort of... I'm only bringing it. I think it's actually hurt you a bit that Amy's been friends with your wife. Yeah. You think so? I think it so. It feels like it's helped. I think it's held your career back many. Well, uh, probably, you I think it's be fair. A millionaire I don't try to point. say anything because I want it to be organic. I'm too. just kidding. Okay. I'm totally kidding. Well, it feels right today. Thank you so much for having me here. I just, I just like the record, and Steve came over to the house and we talked. I think we were best friends after that. Did you feel that way? I felt a connection for sure. <laughs> you know, Steve wrote Riser, and then Dirks ended up cutting it and making it mm-hmm. a big hit. I bet you made some more money off that, huh? Is that where you got that second that second pallet from? <laughs> That's where I got the second pallet. Actually, we, we did buy a camper um, from some of the money that came from that song, and we ended up um, I am selling it to Travis Meadows, who who I co-wrote the song with. It's kind of a full circle moment. That camper that Travis has out in front of his uh-huh. house is, is the camper that you That was when we, we did our first bought. hometowns tour in five years ago. It's a 72 Winnebago. Look at that. Yeah, Still in the neighborhood. It's a 72 Winnebago. Yeah, it's got and a then, hole in the floor. Like, my boots fell out of the bottom of it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But now it's an Airstream, like a cute yeah, little... Yeah, so we're, we're upgrading to an Airstream this year. That's kind of been our dream from the beginning was to was to get into one of those things. Yeah. They're so cool. You need a bigger dream. Well, you know... Three, I, three pallets. That's one That's one of them. Three so, pallets and an Airstream. Did you know he cut this in? This song? What? The Riser. Riser? Yeah. I haven't ever heard him sing it, no. Summarize. Listen to that. He's got a guitar. You want him to play some yes. of it? Yes. Okay, Steve Mokler is here. Would you mind playing like a verse and a chorus of Riser? I would love to, Like man. you wrote it? Lay your pretty head down on my shoulder You don't have to worry anymore This old world is cold and getting colder But I know how to lock in both the door I'm strong enough to hold you through the winter Mean enough to stare your demons down The hard times put this shining to the diamond But I won't let that keep us in the ground Cause I'm a riser 
I'm a get up off the ground, don't run and hide her. When pushing comes to shove, hey, I'm a fighter. When darkness hits the town, I'm a liner, yeah. I get out live of the fire, survivor. Come on with that. Look at that. Yeah. Steve Mokler wrote Thank that you. song. So you have it, and you cut this song. Summarize. But then when Dirk says, hey, I'd like to cut it, you go, oh, man, I, I can't do it anymore. Well, actually, I mean, I was thrilled when Dirk's one to cut the song. Travis and I were both blown away. It was it was an easy decision. Big fans of of, of what he does, and you know, at that point, you know, my I think I had about eight thousand followers on Instagram, so it wasn't gonna gonna reach as many people as if he sang it. So it's been a really cool, really cool thing. Do you ever do that thing that I do, where I set up fake Instagram accounts on myself and ask people for money? <laughs> no, I, I've never oh, done that. That's so that frustrating. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I do, like Mr. with one extra R, Bobby Bones. I'm like, hey, can I get a dollar or some iTunes cards? I do that. It's awesome. Man, it's pretty, It's hard to make money in the business, man. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you can do. Whatever you got to do. I'm kidding. I don't. But do you have fake accounts of you asking people for money? That has begun in the last few months. It's it's so frustrating. Well, that's how you know. That's you how you know. Made it. It's encouraging to know yeah. that people that you know that that actually holds some value to pretend yep. to be me. But uh, it's it's really frustrating that people are getting taken advantage of like that. You know you're on the come up when your identity gets stolen. Congratulations, my Thank friend. Thank you very much. Good Make to be sure here. Make sure you get life <laughs> That's true, too. Okay, listen. Steve Mokler is here. Got the record out. Uh, got the song Born Ready. I'm going to tell you, so I listened to your record. And I, it, I think we're in this culture now of... And I say this in the best way. I think music now has become a bit more disposable because when we subscribe mm -hmm. to a service, we get it all the time. Back 10 years ago, we had to buy something, so we spent a lot of time because our investment in that 10 bucks was in that piece of hard CD that we bought, so we burnt it out. Now our investment is if we pay for a streaming service, and we get all the stuff, mm -hmm. so things move. So for me to stay on something, and just in my world, means I really have I, I like it. And so I, my point is I really like your record. It still Thank is you. in my mix of things that I still listen to. Thank and it's you. in a musical land where we just go, let me see what's next. And I'm going to tell you the mm -hmm. song that I listen to all the time. This one right here. That's what crazy does. This crazy does song. Oh, man. Thanks. It is so good, man. Thank you. This is, this is Gracie's favorite. And that's She's why I picked it. She's fought for this song for a long time. Big fan yeah. of Gracie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Gracie's his wife, by the way. But that's what crazy does. Yeah. You like this song or no? I love that song. Oh. What if you just said I no? love it. No, I absolutely love it. It's 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 one of the most fun songs to play live. It's got a great energy to it and, and I love it. It's called Crazy Dust. You have your guitar. Would you play that one? I'd love to, man. Goes right through a bottle and it burns straight through a pack. Keeps calling up a number that don't ever call you back Beats your head against the wall and your fist against the dash That's what crazy does Throws away her pictures then digs back through the trash Stays out so late on Thursday night you can't even catch a cab Throws a dart and books a flight where it lands on the map. That's what crazy does. Wakes you up, tears you out of bed, makes you drive around in circles till the sun starts bleeding red. Then it tells you she don't love you with her voice inside your head. That's what crazy does. Puts you on the bedroom floor Sunday morning coming down While you count the blades on a ceiling fan Every time they spin around Swear she's lying next to you But it's just the cold hard ground That's what crazy does Wakes you up, tears you out of bed Makes you drive around in circles till The sun starts bleeding red then it tells you she don't love you With her voice inside your head That's what crazy does 
that's what it does Oh, over and over again She don't count the reasons why she's gone And she don't know what keeps me holding on But crazy does Oh yeah, crazy does That's what crazy does Wakes you up, tears you out of bed Makes you drive around in circles too The sun starts bleeding red Then it tells you she don't love you Over and over again That's what crazy does Crazy does Come on, Steve Mokler yes. in studio. That's a, my favorite song on that. Thanks, Let's man. Look at that. That's pretty good. You like that one or no? I love okay, it. Okay, just make it sure. <laughs> I wouldn't record it if I didn't love it. Oh, yeah, good, because I do. I like that. I feel like you're singing Thanks, to me. Steve <laughs> Mokler. Yeah. Pittsburgh guy. That's right. I grew up in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania, just south of Pittsburgh. All of our listeners in Pittsburgh. Yeah, man. They've been calling about you all day. When's Steve Mokler coming on? Dude. I was like, relax. relax. I, love, I love the people of the 412, man. They got my back. You a Penguin fan? I am. I'm a bigger Steelers fan, but when I was a kid, I was a huge Penguins fan. I, I wanted to be a hockey player. And, we draw the emblem and chalk on the driveway like every day and play street hockey with my neighbors and stuff. So I grew up on it for sure. How big old boy are you? 30 years old. No, no. How, big, how big old boy how are big? you? How big? You're to make me say my weight on the air? So. No, no, Gracie. This is one of Okay, so again, I'm friends. If you're just tuning in, I'm friends <laughs> with his wife, Gracie, and we work out together a lot. And one of the biggest complaints, she's like, oh, Steve. Like, we don't even know if we could fit in Steve's jeans is the topic of conversation. Oh, that we small. Had I'm a small framed man. But he eats, like, whatever he All wants. All kinds and of it's pizza, so, beer, pasta. Uh, those are my favorites. Yes. She's like, every day. And it's so annoying because she's like, I will, you know, we just can't, us girls, we can't eat that way. But Steve I, can. I, I'm, into the, <laughs> I'm into the frame. That's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah, no, you look good. That's not a thing. But Yeah, yeah. yeah I, also, I often ask dudes uncomfortably how big an old boy are you. It's a tribute to uh, just all the <laughs> prank calls. But how, what are you, 5'10"? I'm six foot. Oh, well, that's an insult on me. My six bad. foot and, and <laughs> 150 pounds. Oh, wow. So you're as tall as Bobby's I am. Bobby's like yeah. goals. That's, like, <laughs> that's yeah, what man. I'm trying to do. Because I was at six foot 152. I had to drop some weight for idol. <laughs> Uh huh. And they made fun of me so much. Well, because you've gotten and to 147. No, 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 I did not. So that, now you're better. making up lies. Well, did, was no, that yeah. your goal? No, stop lying. And then Amy started wearing my shirts to be funny. Yeah. And so she was like, let me wear your shirts. So I'm with you, dude. Hey, Man, you look great. That makes me feel you. better. Look, if that's how I look, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I don't think either of us could play yeah, for the Penguins, but yeah. we could we could be in music industry for sure. We're the same. <laughs> me and Steve Mokler are the same over here. <laughs> uh, you have a big announcement Monday? That's right. We're going to be yeah, we're gonna be announcing our, our hometowns and campgrounds tour. You go ahead and do that now. Go ahead. Okay, so. No, 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 just like, <laughs> oh, no announce it Monday. Ladies and gentlemen. I'll never make you do that. Hey, you're crazy which, which one of the stops may be Bobby's house? Do I it wanna, may be. The, the wanna, seed has been planted. No, here's the thing. If you want to come over to the house, because I may be having a Labor Day party at the house, you come just to come. Okay. But Steve. You got room was, for the Airstream back there? No, we no, can no, just, no. Just you and your right. wife. And, but Amy, Steve played at your kids uh, when they came yeah, well, I mean, yes. We the, all we all had to, it was, everyone had guitar like Walker Hayes was there and um, Eric Pasley. Eric Pasley and Steve, yeah, yeah. and so they all had guitars and they all. You, oh, and you do my friend Django. I played, I played the Miley Cyrus uh, party, party, party in the USA. USA. Yeah. It was a hit with the kids. I love that song. Do you still you still know it? I don't. Mm. I, 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 oh, no, I, I, had, I had to look it up. It I had to look it up, and it was phone. a pretty rusty performance, but. Uh, People are still talking there. about it. Everybody's still calling about that performance. Still still talking about yeah, it. Yeah, they're awesome. like, at Amy's kid's homecoming. Yeah. Uh, Steve awesome Mokler is here. Check Which out. my kids love Steve. They call him Steven. <laughs> I love them too. They were, they, we saw them the other night, and Stevenson saw the Airstream, and he was like, I want to ride in that. And I was like, well, you can't ride in it while it's moving. It's like, it's kind of dangerous. Wait, it flops around. No, you can't. Well, you attach it to the truck. You have to attach trailer. the truck, and it, it goes cr back and forth I like crazy. I used to ride in ours all the time. Did you really? <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to. Oh, well, okay, so what? I'm from Did it get pretty wild in there? Like pots of pants? Yeah, but flying? I, I live wild. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's like the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. It's, it's riding in a moving camper shell. Camper, a camper. Okay, listen, Steve Mogler, we could be here all day. Let me uh, encourage everyone 
to uh, check out Steve's record, Born Ready. That song, Born Ready. I like Crazy Does, my song. That's what crazy does. Maybe you know Suitcase from back in the day. Everybody wants to chase the rainbow and find a pot of gold. I'm a big fan of yours. Thank you, Bobby. Glad I'm a big fan one. of you too, man. Glad you came back. You got great hair. Look Thank this. you. Look at this guy. What? He has, oh, great hair. I think he said great. No, There's a couple in there. Great There's a couple hair. grays in there. Ask him how big old boy he is. He goes, I'm 30. <laughs> I mean, is that an incorrect answer? You know, I guess it was not. What's your favorite color? Banana? No, it's not. It's not the same. <laughs> he must be talking age. Uh, a big old boy. Okay. Uh, all right, Steve Mokler, everyone. Hey, good to see you. Uh, good fo- to by see the way, you too, let me thanks see for having me. Do you have any handle here? What's your handle? Oh, at Steve Mokler. M O A K L E R. At Steve Mokler. Um, I like you. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks so much. Maybe we'll man. see you soon.